tonight. Dwell has six his favorite song on the central line. I get told off for recording. An average runner tries to run 580 meters in under 90 seconds. And the math nerd flexes his knowledge in front of an idiot. Hello and welcome to Train Gear. I'm Peng Mary Clarkson. And I'm Jam Dway. Now, this just to start off right here. Christmas is coming around the corner. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. You're yeah. not wrong. So, so it's a great time to get some Chris- to prepare some Christmas gifts for train enthusiasts. And I found some interesting ones off the internet. Off so, the internet? You, well, you're going down into a rabbit hole at this point. I don't know so what I have, going. indeed. I searched up best train gifts, right, on Google. And I'm not even joking. This is the first thing that pops up. Oh, my goodness. Would you want is- this for a gift, huh? How would you know? Is that okay? So it's a conductor with someone's face in it, but it's this. It's a plushie. Yes, it that. is a plushie. It's got like a the head. I don't get it. Like, who would buy this? Who I don't even know that? how much it costs. But like, it costs like about twelve it's or something. Like, it's like a weirdly iced non-binary gingerbread person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I've got I'm not not only I have that, I also have a railway worker. <laughs> Oh, I mean it's a bit oh, well, better I, than the, the that, train conductor. That, you know, Christmas liveries. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta love those, you know. That's not obvious. Of course, the only thing I found. It just it just seems a little bit weird here. I don't always I don't stop always... and look at trains. Oh wait, yes I do. This cost on the website two pounds. Two pounds. I mean. I feel like those shirts that have really lots of text on them are a bit weird because you don't want someone staring at your torso for ages. Do you? <laughs> That's what <laughs> I'm trying saying. to read what's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's also it's, there's also another product that has a lot of text in it. Like, education is important, but spotting trades is important. <laughs> I mean, that I would agree with. But why would you want to spend ages reading that? You know, yes, people but- can't be bothered these days. Let's not forget, you can't change the text. You don't yeah. want to see you, you drinking out of a mug that says spotting trains is important. <laughs> People pay £10 for a piece of cardboard. £10 for that? That is just... No, sorry. What on earth is going on there? That you could... If you really want a paper ticket, just get a ticket. Just, like, go one stop on a train. First of all, it's a fake ticket. Yes, exactly. Second of all, it's got some, like, useless, completely useless, one of those quote-unquote inspirational quotes on there. But that's not, no, it's just, just get a ticket. Just You probably just have one in your pocket or I something. I mean, you like, can't just, you can't just change the, the text according to the website. But yeah, still. Yeah. Now, you know there's, like, you know, those Thomas the Tank Engine beds. Yeah. I mean, the the concept overall is not that bad, but some of the variants are really cursed. Like, would you buy this? Staring That's right so into crazy. your soul. I don't <laughs> like. It. You would just I've... you would just oh. see that. You wake up and then just get out the other side of the bed and you see that oh, right staring into that. your soul. Oh, imagine sleeping in the same room as that person. <laughs> oh man, this is the worst one. <laughs> It's, it's like a mutant version of Thomas. One of the <laughs> what <laughs> happened to him? <laughs> they tried to make it so colossal. <laughs> I can't Thomas. do anything but just to laugh at it. <laughs> Thomas, what? what Thomas, have you been going to the gym recently? He looks at a buff. Now, would you would you buy a a game that? Is about murder on the other ground. Sorry, but I'm already no, no, no. I <laughs> man, I if you buy this stuff, I cannot think of words. <laughs> if you buy this stuff, you're probably the type of person who would joke about the seven seven attack. Okay, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, yeah, and uh, he, he had to Google that earlier <laughs> just so he could make that joke. Would you have Elizabeth Lyme cats? I'd have that. <laughs> I mean, that it looks fun. a little bit weird. I mean, out of out of out of my cats, this is probably the weirdest one. Cause I mean, that photo looks like an IKEA showroom. <laughs> it does. To be honest. I mean, especially the fact that it's everywhere. I mean, I'd happily have happily have like a sofa with Elizabeth Lyme McKet on it, but not everything with Elizabeth Lyme McKet. I'm not sure oh. if having some sort of contrasting 
a sofa like this would fit into some sort of room. That's all the gifts I got. And, would you buy any of those gifts? Colors. Would you buy any of those uh, gifts? Uh, well, evaluating time. Obviously, the first two definitely always buy those. Um, uh, and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to move on to Peng and Dweller chasing themselves in the race. We're currently... Okay, this is already embarrassing. That, no, this... Joe, this... just leave that in for the authenticity purposes. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're currently between North Acton and Acton Main Line. Dwyer's going to take the Central Line to Stratford. I'm taking the Elizabeth Line to Stratford. First to get there wins. Let's go. Let's go, right. See ya. See ya. Okay, we are go. We are go. So, Kangtastic's on a bit of a tighter schedule because the Elizabeth Line is not as um let's say frequent as the central line so i have to take a specific train that's arriving in like 15 minutes that terminates at hainault via woodbury park so first of all i have to find north acton station which sounds a little embarrassing right so it's like a five minute walk there so here's my plan i have to go to acton main right um the next train is in like 15 minutes and the one is taking a similar train at that time and then take the one that goes to Shenfield and then hop off at Stratford We will meet after the red steam train. So it's gonna get tense. I, I feel I don't know what to say But lucky for Dweller, he just has to get this one train and then boom. He's right there For me I have to change which is annoying. Okay, obviously I've gone the wrong way. I got Google Maps up and Where the hell am I going? Wait, what? Oh, I have to cross the road I'll be, I'm an absolute idiot if I don't make it. That's the thing. If I don't make it, I've disgraced myself pretty much. That's a great start. I think I'm nearby. Yes! Oh my goodness. Wait. Hang. Do Jeff Marshall. Wait, what was that showing? Yeah, that's good. I'm at the shelter. I'm just waiting. Hopefully, it doesn't get delayed that much. Alright. I believe that was the Loughton train, so. Yeah, next one. Hainault via Newbury Park. Oh, for f sake. Right, I just checked my route. Um, so, it, arri it arrives at like 10.01. Which is enough time, because my train is about 10.08 or about that. Um, yeah, I'm not bothered to check, but this delay would not affect me. Uh, but I was kind of worried at first, because I thought Dwell could instantly win. So, yeah, it's not great, but <laughs> it's going to work. It's beginning to look a lot like Stepmus everywhere you go. I don't know the lyrics because Pengtastic only just uploaded the video. And I don't even know the tune either. Okay, so this is our train. Try and get the focus right on the camera. Whoa, is that Dweller? Okay. North Acton. We're doing good. On our way to Stratford. Look at all that. It's a frosty. It's nice. It's slightly snowy today as well. I am eating chocolate. It's nice. And we're arriving at White City. This is White City. Once there used to be Wood Lane Station. So that closed many, many years ago. And a new one opened on the Hammersmith City Line. And now it's the circle line. Anyway, the next station is Shepherd's Bush. That was pretty hectic. So this is such a dark station, jeez. We need better lighting here. Corn Park is old. Currently, where is it here? 
need to get to here. It's not in focus. Anyways, we are going through the tunnels. So, we're here. Paddington. Good news is we just have to wait six minutes. I honestly thought it would be very dramatic, but we're here. The only problem is my bladder sucks. Somebody was obstructing the doors. Damn. Uh, you better go, or that's up to you. Thank you very much. All right, hopefully my, my next train to Sheffield is delayed. If that's delayed, now I'm screwed. And if I get delayed there, that means I'll be late to Stratford. At Bond Street, I was here earlier actually. Currently here, going here. Still got a while left. We're one minute late. This is not good. We're one minute late. Even one minute. Depart already, otherwise we'll be two minutes late. It's not gonna be the best. God. Thank you. Now can you go? Move. I want the next train to Sheffield to be on time. It says one minute, but I don't think that's true. Because of the signals. That train goes late. Departs late. And it affects this service. I'm dead. I'm really dead. I really need to pee. Slowly trudging on our way. This is Tottenham Court Road. To Right, so we just went past one street. Um, so far, nothing's been affected yet. We just went like one minute late. If I went to the, to the steam train, I might be able to get it. But. I think the central is closer. Oh, this will be a tough one. Bank, Liverpool Street, Bethnal Green, Mile End, then Stratford. Then we'll be done. The service became one earlier because of that stupid train. Then that means we've arrived at Stratford at 10.27. Um, the central is 10.26. And I think the central line bit is closer to the steam train than the Elizabeth line bit. I don't even know what that is. Um, so, I really have to run. Right, so our next station is Whitechapel. After that, it's Stratford, so, yeah. We are nearing the station, which uh, has a very, very noteworthy song attached to it. So, um, enjoy. I hope you edited something in there. So after Dwell was just dancing to the London Underground song, this happened. I'll hide you, man. I will, I will hide. And of course he didn't trust me. I'll delete it now. It's fine. I'll show you. And that is why I lost the rest of the footage. But that was the time where we were about to arrive to Stratford, so we didn't lose much. Yep. But that wasn't a pleasant experience. And just like that, I'm at Stratford. However, I swear to God, if that's the truth, that's the beloved <laughs> truth. Good shot. I am actually going to come back. Let's go. Right. No way! Ah! Oh, is that you? <laughs> Jeez! Come here, Dwight! I don't want to step over. Wait, where is it? Wait. This way! He's right there! No! Wait, this is the greatest rank of it. No. Yes! No. Oh, what? Made it to Stratford. It was that close. Our trains have been passing parallel to each other. Yeah. <laughs> arriving at it. Oh my goodness. If we'd have both known which way to go, I would have been first. But I went the wrong way. You took advantage uh, yeah. of the fact that I went the wrong way to get in front of me. We made it. We made it. We now know that the Elizabeth line is at least two seconds faster. Two seconds. <laughs> at least two seconds faster than the central line. Two seconds. How long did you wait to act mainly? 
Um, well, it was the, the train was delayed. Oh. But it didn't really affect anything. I was, um... I was waiting for like 18 minutes. 18 minutes? Yeah. I was waiting at North Axe for 5 minutes, so... Elizabeth Line's obviously faster, but... Jeez, that was heat. Yeah. And like, there was one train I, that I hopped on. I hopped off. Yeah. It took like 2 minutes to depart the station. Oh. Trying to go train. It was delayed by 1 minute. I need to go, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Now, before we move on, I want to explain the next bit we're doing. I am running from Ireland Gardens to Machu. Keep in mind, I know this is really challenging and it can only be successful if you are a professional runner. I'm not, I'm an average runner. So I'm actually doing this just to see how far can an average runner run and how close I will be while chasing the train. So how is this going to work? Well, as soon as the board says stand back train approaching, I will start running to give myself a head start, making this challenge slightly more possible to complete. And the rest is self-explanatory. Enough of the chit chat, here's how I did this challenge. It is recording. And here we see a Pengtastic preparing for his challenge. If all goes to plan, he shall get on my train. I've been training this whole And I've made no progress. Yeah, that's fun. I'm gonna leave it there. I have to take it. Okay, I'm out. He is... Off. Train is approaching. Here it is. He's got to take his stuff now. Okay. Come on. I'm probably going to see it departing though. It's not that long of a distance. It's not there. Well, what do you expect from me? I'm not a professional athlete, but that's not bad. I guess. Right, so Dweller, yes. what are we doing next? We are going to Abbey Wood and we're doing this thing where Basically, you see a train, you say a fact. That if you don't, you're a noob. Well, looks like I'm going to be a noob, so... Yes, you are. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm under a slight concern that there might not be enough trains, but it's the best we've got around this general area. I am the Jeremy Clarkson of the uh, of train, yeah, okay? You say that? Yeah, I am. I've never watched Top Gear, so... I only watched like I can't do so much out of that. I only watched like a couple of episodes when I was like three. Oh. This is an additional top gear task. So you have three seconds to find a station on this map. Yeah. You have to find Hmm Beddington Lane. You're too good at this. I used to live really close to that. You too good at this. So. Alright, another one. You have to find Chingford. Chingford. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen up. Putney Bridge. Putney Bridge. There we go. I'm giving you two easy ones. I feel like yeah, you might be. Gold is green. For your safety, please use the far left off the platform. And not someone. <laughs> you <laughs> You're just looking at the someone. central line. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was the central line. I thought it was the green. Oh. Me. I thought it was Bethnal green. green. Yeah. Oh. I mixed up with Be -be Bethnal green. Mm. Thin boys. I just wanna go that part of that. Uh, there you go. Yes. I thought you would have heard of it because it's a weird name. Buck Heathway. Uh, there you go. Wait, that, that, there's a dagger. Trick, trick question. <laughs> Mix Bucking and Dagger Heathway. Right then. Um, a 466 just arrived. So that so means you have to tell a fact. Um, it was built partially by Metro Camel, which is now known as Allstom. That's a great fact. I know. Due to the emergency services dealing with an incident earlier today. Oh. Oh. Oh, something happened. Fuck. 
What is that? That's a 376. That's a 376. Right. Need a fact. This is actually, this is technically a fact. Yeah. It's part, guess what? It's part of the southeastern fleet. Oh my goodness, you are so cracked. I am what? so cracked at this stuff, man. The stupid train. Whilst we're here, that 345 arrived, so uh, a fact about it is okay. that it used to be formed of seven coaches, but it was extended to nine coaches. Yo. Cool. So there's a next train coming at platform one. Will be the 1328 Thameslink service to London Bridge. So I assume it's definitely the class 700. 700 as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is a class 700. So it has an ATO. Ooh. Mm. Hey, it's an actual fact. Jesus Christ, that yeah, train. They stop quite far away, far, far down. They probably need to update the car stop this. Week. Yeah. Look at that distance. You, 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 bro, imagine if you're running late. You have to just run all the way. All that's, the way. That's so annoying. Much less of a chance of getting it. Yeah. A person got hit by a train, apparently. That's why most of the things are, like, cancelled and stuff. F. F. Don't be an idiot on the train, too. Yes. Like, it's not... Like, stand behind the yellow line. That is a okay, dumb way might... to die. Yeah, I've seen it many times. So, yeah. But you've seen it. No, not personally. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, bro, yeah. bro, when I was like eight, I was on my local, I was on my local station yeah. and I'm like, a guy came up to me, I was like eight years old, yeah. a guy came up to me, he's like, hey, I went down the tracks once. And that's what he said. Bro. <laughs> I feel like it was motivating me to kill myself. This <laughs> guy. So, I mean, there is another uh, three, four, five, so it's my turn it to fine. say a fact. So, basically, the operator is not technically really hosted by TFL, it's the MTR. Correct. Yeah. We have a 376. A3, wait, three, no, wait, wait what, a 465? Ah. Oh, it's a dash one. Oh. oh. Okay, thank goodness it's not a 376. Oh, uh, I was prepared for that. I yeah. thought it was a 376. Well, yeah, we're taking this train, so. This is because there are more trains in London Bridge, and this is how the weather gets home, so it's more convenient. In real, in real I'll tell you a fact. TM would, TM would love this fact. It's one of the last trains that has not been completely meshed in uh, SCR. Of course you said that. Yeah. We are currently at London Bridge. Why are you talking like this? Because it is a technique. That is a class 375, 375911. And class 375s. Southern used to have 375s until they converted them into 377-3s. Wow. I literally forgot what he said. 375. Again. Yo, it's so, an electro star. Wow. Let's go! That over there is a 465 plus 466. That's it, 466 plus 465 plus 465. Wait, no, it's a 466 plus 465 plus 466. That's weird. Huh? Okay. Well, um, so the uh, class 465, um, it, uh, what, what could be interesting about it? Um, it's one of the first trains to have automatically operated trains. That is so sick, my dude. Yeah. It's 377. Yo, it's technically a fact. So, one time in 2018, I went there using this train to Littlehampton. That's technically a fact. That is technically a fact, so yeah, I'm, cor I'm correct. Okay, so class 707 uh, was formerly commissioned by Southwestern Railway, but it's now transferred to Southeastern under the brand name CTB. Come on, that was easy. That, that was easy. So, the peg's got another 376. Uh, I mean, I think I already mentioned it's an Electrostar, so what else could I think of? You haven't actually. Oh, I haven't. Oh, it's an Electrostar. Yeah. Hey, I did Where's it. Where's that going? Charing Cross. Yeah. yeah. Time for Dweller to leave. Um, Back to City Trains. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking, yeah? yeah I, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm yeah, me too, man. Subscribe to Pink Tastic. Subscribe to Pink Tastic. Subscribe to me first, though. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Train Gear. Enjoy. Yeah, see ya. Okay, see ya. This is a security message. If you see something that doesn't look right,
Huh? I made it to the store. Well, I know what I must do. 